What is up guys, it's the one turtle and it's finally here, War of the Spark. So, a lot of, uh, every major, the three major games, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering released their newest set today. And the only one I was able to get my boxes for was Magic the Gathering, War of the Spark. So, really excited to get into this. Assuming I can open it. So, Planeswalker in every pack, they have changed the game, it's very interesting, and uh, yeah, hoping for some really good pulls, we were not able to get a box of the Mythic Edition, I was very disappointed about that, despite my best efforts, but I didn't even get like the order cancel thing, I just couldn't put my order in, uh, just too much traffic, which means I don't, won't get like the, I guess they're sending out gift certificates or something everyone that kind of had their order cancelled so we're op starting the um our war of the spark openings with 12 packs let's see we're looking for that liliana the uh, nickel bullets get some of the gods as well let's do this let's take a look at some of the commons battlefield promotion crush descent chain whip cyclops tailed light shield new horizon we're really excited to hear about the actual like a war and like who who dies who lives how do it sounds like they do defeat bolus um, i'm curious to hear how they went about doing that uh, we are in the uncommon visor of the scorpion lazo top plating here's our um planeswalker Ka kasmina emetic mentor never heard of her uh spells your opponent's cast target a creature of planeswalker you control cost two more to cast it's not bad uh, however she only has minus abilities to take create two two wizard token creature draw a card and discard a card that's pretty bad uh, you'll have to proliferate to add power up then cosmere fiend of the wolf we do have a foil a wadi's raptor okay that was pretty cool keep going So for the, as far as the Planeswalker goes, like, you know, the non-rare um, mythic ones, they probably won't be that good. Uh, ooh, that's pretty cool. Totally lost. Law Rune Enforcer. Uh, I'll probably try to get, you know, any foil ones I'll pull, I'll probably just keep for um, long-term. The Sprouts. Destroy target creature, search your library for basic land card, put it into the battlefield tapped. Interesting, that's not bad. Sounds like a pretty good control card. Comment. Then we have a Bond of Revival. What's going on here? Kaya. Huh. Kaya looks pretty cool. And then a Widespread Brutality for the rare. Alright, we got Tafari Pack. Ooh, the Tafari sounded really good too. And I think, oh, I think he's only a rare. So hopefully we can get one of him. Invading Manticore. Gideon Sacrifice. Ooh, what's going on there? Totally out of surprise. The cost of betraying Bolas did not fall on her. Huh. Okay, so she Polis wasn't able to kill her via her, her contract. Band together. Spell Gorger. That's weird. Boral Grazer. Herald of the Dread Horn. Ooh, Prison Realm. So maybe that's what they did to Nickel Bullis. Gideon's Triumph. Alright, Gideon Triumph. Tybalt. We're all getting all the uncommon ones. Uh, we didn't read Kaya, but let's go to this. Your opponent can't gain life. Hmm, for three mana. Create a 1-1 one, one red devil creature token with when this creature dies, it deals with damage to a target. Uh, then we have Storev. Ooh, a foil plane. That's cool. Alright, let's go to one more pack. Actually look at the comments just because I'm not familiar with them and there's some really cool art, but then we'll kinda of pick things pick up the pace. Prop Invader, Bulwark Giant. Crush Descent, Invading Manticore, Ward Scale Crocodile, that is a big crocodile. You know what's interesting? I feel like the things are not so much by the guild, so I guess so, which kind of makes sense that all the Planeswalkers are here and it's more about them rather than the guilds themselves. However, they're still in Ravnica, I would think they're, you know, have some relevance. Heartwarming Re Redemption, and then Arlen, Voice of the Pact. I have no idea who any of these are. Seven, oh, that's six, six mana cost. Um, Start at 7, minus 2, create 2-2 two, two wolf. Each creature control that's a wolf or a werewolf enters the battlefield with a literal plus 1 counter. Eh. 
Ignite the Beacons. Let's call it all the Planeswalker. Ooh, Chandra's Triumph. Okay, Uncommon. Foil. I want a Foil Planeswalker, though. Alright. As I stated, well, we'll go through the pictures, at least. That's pretty cool. Cat. A Zombie. Some Fire. Storm the Citadel. Domri's Ambush. Flux Channeler. Oh, getting Black Blood. Uh, is it Black Blade? Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, I think this is one of the good ones. All right, so we have our first first Mythic, and it is a Planeswalker, Gideon Black Blade. As long as your turn, Gideon Black Blade is is a thing. Always a. Uh, some kind of human with indestructible. 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible. That's the planeswalk. Prevent all damage that will be dealt to Gideon Blackblade during your turn. So you can attack with him. He starts at 4 and then a plus 1 is up to one other target creature you control. Gains your choice of vigilance, lifelink, or indestructible to end a turn. I imagine indestructible or lifelink I guess. Um, exile target permanent for minus 6. Hmm. Kind of weird. But he only costs 3. That is really good. So if only 3 mana, you get a 4-4, four, four. oh no, it's only on your turn as a creature. However, you know, you get the 5 loyalty on, turn, on your first turn, that's crazy. So, monster pull right there, really happy with that. I think the only thing about this set, so I feel like this set right now, like, the, all the cards are worth a lot. Uh, however, there's no, like, special lands, so I feel like that will hurt it in the long run. Tamiyo's Epiphany, think of this. Hey, growth, classic card. All right, we got the Prism Realm again. Emergence Zone. Here we go. Zhang Yangu, with Wildcrafter. And then a Time Wipe. Return a creature you control to his own hand and destroy all creatures. Eh, you can cost five, so. Yes, that could be kind of cool if, uh, if you out of like a lot of enter the battlefield effects and then you use it and then you wipe and you do it again. Maybe, but I don't know. I don't think that's good enough. Alright, let's see. We've seen all these so at this point. Sunblade Angel. That looks like a Boros guy. Firemind Vessel. That's Niv Visit. Nahiri Storm of Stone. Nahiri's pretty cool. And then an Elder Spell. Alright, so we did get our big hit for the opening, so I'm really happy with that. And, uh, yeah, if you opened up, if you start opening up War of the Spark, let me know how your pulls are going. Um, and if you, what, if there's something you haven't gotten that you're really searching for, let me know what it is. Dovin's Veto, and then our Planeswalker is North Set. And then a Mobilized District for our rare. Seems like the ones that are really expensive right now is that Liliana. I think it's actually Gideon as well. Uh, I think the Karn looks really good too. Actually, there's a lot of cards that are just really high price right now. We got a Teo, the Shield Mage. Don't know much about Teo. And then a Death Horde Butcher. For a black and a red haste. Uh, when, whenever he does come into damage, put a plus one plus one counter on it. When he dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. That's not bad, that'd be, that's pretty good for aggro deck I feel like it's how it's red black though, it might be a little tricky. But I guess with all the dual in, in the in standard right now, I guess it's probably doable. We got Augur of Bolas. this card, that name sounds familiar. Tyrant Scorn, choose one to destroy target creature, convert a mana. Ooh, that's pretty good, return target, eh, I think that's pretty good. Ashiok, and then Narset's Reversal. Not sure who Narcel, Narset is, or what the, <laughs> what the, what the Reversal does, but I feel like we're going pretty slow, so we're going to keep, keep up the pace. We got, for three mana, a Death Touch and Likely. Lifelink for three to two, two, three, that's pretty good. And it can ramp? That sounds like a pretty good control card. Um, Angrath's Rampage. Sacrifice, target player, sac ooh, that's, this is another good one. Wow, that's really good. Tybalt. I'm going to put that one off the side. I have to feel that's going to be expensive. Expensive, uncommon. Get that in the rare pile. Alright, our last pack. 
for our first opening of War of the Spark. I'm not sure how many of these I'm going to open, how many boxes, um, but I'm definitely enjoying it so far. We got Chandra's Triumph, Rubble Belt Rioters, <laughs> there's a lot of these loyal dogs, and then, ooh, Timio, Collector of Tales, very nice. Um, I feel like there's been some rumors seeing that like boxes are either planeswalkers or gods or the finales as far as the mythic slot. Spells that build your opponent's control can't cause you to discard cards. Cards are sacrifice permanents. Okay. Choose a non-land card and reveal the top four cards. I put all cards with a chosen name. Hmm. For four mana, I feel like this could be pretty good. It feels very like Jace the Mind Sculptor in a way, because like, um, you know. In Legacy, you're brainstorming a lot, and it's just, so it's the same cost, and I feel like this could add multiple cards to your hand. Uh, return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Um, the minus ability is pretty good. So, yeah, I'm really happy with that pull as well. So we did get two really good pulls. However, the monster one was that Gideon Blackblade. Um, and uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit that like button down below, um, especially if you're enjoying Royal of Spark. Let me know how your pulls have been going and what you're currently searching for. Uh, on that guys, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, I'm the Wild Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time, peace.